Hello once again everyone. So I mentioned this, I think, two weeks ago, but I got a new sword. And I now have used it enough that I think it's time for me to talk about it. So first off, this is my Kriegsmesse. Um, where did I get it? I actually, it's a really funny story as to how I got this. Um, I had just gotten back from in town's apparently second-hand Lego store, which is a cool thing that we have. And I was like, I wonder how many Lego knights I can get on eBay for like the least amount of money. And when I was on there, eBay was like, you might be interested in swords. I'm like, I am interested in swords. Let's see what I get. First result. So this came to me secondhand from uh, some guy who, he did uh, HEMA and ACL, that's the Armored Combat League stuff, and he's downsizing his collection, so he decided to sell off one of his nicer swords. This was custom made. I'm afraid I don't know who by, the guy never got back to me, but some, some miscellaneous Polish smith made this for him, and it's actually a very, very nice sparring sword. So first off, let me show you its features. It comes with a scabbard. That's just cool. But the main thing that's the draw for it is that when it comes to wanting a Kriegsmesser, it's something I've wanted for a long time. For those of you that aren't familiar, I'm a pretty big Messer guy. I really like Messer. It's one of my favorite things. And I've made the joke for years that the second I get a Kriegsmesser, I'm never touching a longsword again because I can just do Messer all the time, either with one hand or two. Really, this is kind of everything I was hoping it would be. It's not going to replace my longsword, of course, because it's a little bit on the nicer side, but it is certainly something that is a lot more fun for me to play with, kind of melts those two worlds. So, as far as its main features, it's very, very light. It feels about the same weight as, honestly, I feel it even feels lighter than my Albion Mox Bruda. Not because of literal weight, but because of balance point. Part of that is the proportion. The other part of it is just the thinner blade. Um, it has a cross guard proportion that I really, really like. This reminds me a lot of my Albion uh, Meyer, which is great because I love a longer cross guard. Basically, if my cross guard is about the same exact length of the hilt, it's very satisfying to me. Um, it's got some fun twist work, um, as well as also some fun work on the noggle that I'll show up close in a minute. The only thing I think I could really complain about just on the surface, and this is mind you when I first saw it, was the pommel, but I'll get back to that. The blade, meanwhile, you may notice it has this rather large cutout in it. This part is actually not uncommon to see on some historical messes. Uh, the idea of this kind of broken back or flipped back. Um, you don't see this on them, at least not that I've seen, but all this does is really represent my false edge. So as far as I'm concerned, blunt, blunt, that's the sharp part, and that's the same as any clip point. So it really doesn't affect anything other than this can occasionally get snagged on things slightly, but oh well, just bonus for me. Um, the blade is actually held up to the little work I've, I mean, second hand, the guy used it, I've used it now. It holds up to things pretty well. Um, probably the, the, and the only modification we made is my father and I did grind the tip down some because it was just a little bit pointy. Uh, thing again to these gymnasium savers. Uh, if you want to see more detail about that, you can check the review. But now it's pretty much exactly the same as an Albion. Um, so, let's talk about how it feels. So first off, when I use it, not that much changes from when I normally do longsword. Really, this is more longsword plus messer as opposed to messer plus longsword. I mean, to be fair, my longsword has always been relatively blended with my messer work because they're the same family. Um, and I very much prefer to take after um, Peter Faulkner in that regard of just do messer with a longsword dummy. But this does encourage certain behaviors in interesting ways. So it's very, very light. Um, it has decently significant flex, but does not flex in a bind, which is nice because it's got that spine. However, when I cut with it, it feels more like I'm cutting with a sharp than if I was cutting with one of the training tools because it's a little bit more profiled. Um, fortunately, it doesn't hit like a sharp, but that leads to me being a little bit more cautious. I really don't like committing this unless I can guarantee either a bind that I can work from or instead I'm just clipping something relatively far out. I don't like to stick in quite as much as I would with one of my other swords. Um, another aspect about it in that regard is it can move extremely fast. Um, the blade basically weighs nothing, so if you give me energy, it's super quick for me to ping around. Um, but because the blade is so weightless and I can move my hands quite well, I almost find I'm tempering myself more since the blade has no weight, if I rush, I worry about the edge and the, uh, the blade actually getting out of alignment, the same way that I would with a sharp. And so I find this forces me to slightly slow down and consider my cuts, all of them that is, just a little bit more than I normally would just because of that aspect, which is good. You know, it's the same reason that you should do some sword wind practice with a sharp or just in general 
do some light work with a sharps that you feel, oh, this isn't quite like my training tool anymore. This has its own say because of the proportions and things like that. So in regards to actual techniques, I will say I don't like doing an initial spark with it. So partially this is just because of, you know, that clip point has a little bit of reach around, so it's a bit strange. I'm getting used to it. The other main reason, and this is, like I said, the only complaint that I had initially is the pommel. So, I guess, I, I mean, it's the exact same pommel type as you find on most messers, but when it comes to two hands, I very much prefer a scent stopper pommel. So when I go to do a thumb grip style action, for most things, anything true edge, it's fine, feels just fine. But if I want to do anything false edge, that little curve, I have to maneuver my hand very actively around it, or it's going to bite and hold onto my hand, which can make some transitions a little trickier. So I gotta just consider things a bit more. Now this isn't necessarily anything unique, there are swords like that, and certainly any time you're using any weapon you have to consider, hey, this is how I fight with it, this may change things. The benefit, while I don't necessarily have the ability to you know, ball and sock it quite as well, the benefit is very naturally my hand just falls into that little bit there, and that's making this style of cutting, you know, true edge style stuff and control from there a lot better, and I find that I'm using my left hand a little bit more to propel that tip forward because it feels more connected, essentially. I've got this little seat belt that pulls things forward. The other thing it's got, of course, is the noggle, which really just means my shield has a like cheating. Um, basically, anytime something comes in on this line, I get the choice of either true edge, or if you were using a normal longsword, you could do false edge. In my case, I get to do flat and just stick immediately because anything working down that line is gonna fall straight into my noggle and I get the benefit of the doubt. Certainly in regards to some transitions in winding, I've also found that I will purposely, and I do this in Messer too, slip my blade to get that noggle in place so then I can plunge over, things along those lines. And just in general, like I said, it just adds a couple little tools to my ordinary longsword game. Um, it makes me slow down in others. Um, the other thing about it is it does have a very, very thin grip. I might modify this grip. It's got room to be fattened up a little bit. We might in future. For right now, it does just fine. But in general, I think it's a very nice sword for in the school work, or I'll take it with me when I go up to Lanschnick War College uh, in September, so that's WW's off here event. And certainly as far as what I wanted out of a Kriegsmesser, it's pretty much everything I could ask for and more. Plus, again, it came with a scabbard. That's just awesome. But otherwise, though, you'll probably see some more of it. I'll probably maybe even film a little bit of light sparring with it so that you can see how things work out. Um, those of you that watch the channel that have Greek messages of your own, um, you know, post in the comments your thoughts on yours and things along those lines. We'll talk shop, it's great. Uh, but otherwise, thank you very, very much for watching. We'll go over some other techniques and cool swords another time.